I think 3D, when used correctly, is a wonderful tool. Not just for the obvious things of objects flying out of the screen, but also as an expressive tool to really heighten the emotion or the feeling of a given scene. We worked with Chris Parks on the 3D. He did gravity and really clever, gifted man who's helped us create a 3D shape for the movie that is expressive and tasteful and supports storytelling. I think that 3D is particularly effective when its use is challenged by the director. How can we use it to help focus the attention on the main character or off the main character or onto a detail in the background? Or how can we enhance the scale or make somebody feel more vulnerable? And this is something that we've done a lot in the film. With Beasts, you have all those moments. You have delicate human moments between the characters. You haven't got characters coming out of the screen. You've just got them very delicately poised, so it's very shallow 3D. And then you'll go into the magical world of the case where 3D really opens out. So you fly around the case in a really immersive way to show how extraordinary it is. Or you'll have this extraordinary third act with all this rampage through New York. And so there are moments that really suit a 3D experience. It's particularly effective in helping actors communicate with the audience. A large part of communication is nonverbal. All those little micro ticks, those inflections, those nuances that people give off, 3D can help to enhance those, to bring those to life, enable you to see some of those things that you can't see in 2D. It's been really interesting to see you making an environment more oppressive at certain points, making it more intimate, making the characters feel small or feel large. The magic in any J.K. Rowling show is obviously intrinsic and we are using the 3D to help bring that to life, whether that's helping to draw the audience's attention to it, whether it's giving it more shape or presence, or when we've got in-your-face magic, we've got one blast coming at camera, we've got flying things jumping at you, swooping back into the depths, we're using 3D to enhance that. The joy with this film is having so much to play with as, as a stereographer. It's like music, you know, sometimes it plays a big epic symphony and sometimes it's playing a single clarinet. You just shape it to support story.